Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this new video. It's about 6 10 in the morning, and we are in San Juan, Puerto Rico. I want to show you today how easy it is to pre flight the Pilatus PC 12. Uh, it's one of the most common things you guys want to see. Uh, we already did uh, how to start up the plane. You can check that on the description below. I also put a button on top. Uh, but uh, this plane pre-flighting is pretty easy. I'll uh, show you the ins and outs and uh, let's get started. So the first the first thing you want to do when you get to the plane as in any, any other aircraft is just verify the general conditions of the plane uh, from far away. This plane looks pretty nice. I don't see any tires are flat or anything weird going on uh, initially. Second of all, we gotta take these covers off. So we have an AOA uh, vein indicator. So this is where, uh, this is uh, the instrument that will give us the uh, angle of attack. Then we have a pitot tube on the bottom. Let's go to the other side of the plane. Here's a second uh, AOA indicator, the probes. Ah, there's a tri island. So, second pita tube, second AOA, that's going, getting all the covers off. Let's take these plugs out, there's one, two, three, and uh, there's a fourth one right here. They're all plugged together. And then last but not least of the covers, gotta remove the intake cover. We gotta let the prop be free, so take this one, remove the exhaust cover on this side, and uh, just remove the exhaust cover on this side of the prop lock. All right, we're well, gonna set everything up on this nice lattice bag. You can buy one of these at Gladys Gear Shop. And that's it for the covers. There's a reason why we take the covers off first, and it is because now we're gonna turn on the master, and we don't want any heating elements to be on, uh, causing uh, our covers to melt. So we're in the cockpit. I'm just gonna remove this uh, shade so we get more light in here. Be right back with you guys in a second. All right, that's a lot better, a lot lighter in here. All right, so we have a pre-flight checklist, but uh, I'm just gonna go run through everything and then I'll uh, verify everything has to be done accordingly to the checklist one for the pound, okay? So first thing first, let's turn on this battery switch. Let's verify we have more than 24 volts. That's good, 24.8. EIS is gonna come up. There you go. Uh, let's test this. Make sure there's no weird warnings coming up. Tapes and zeros, and uh, we're good. We've got date and time on the bottom. All right, everything seems to be good with that. Let's reset the fuel. See how much fuel we have. 15.49, that's good for our trip today. Fine. All right, once we get the battery on, it's time to turn on the oxygen. So oxygen handle is coming on. And we are gonna turn the uh, oxygen, passenger oxygen selector to auto. There it is. We're gonna test our oxygen mask. That one is working. Let's try the co-pilot side. All right, this one is working. Let's make a, a lamp test, make sure everything is working. So up here, it says lamp, we click it. Everything is on. Every single button is illuminated. As you can see, we have the master warning and caution lights on. On both sides, we have the flap symmetry warning on. We've got greens and reds. 
and we've got the cost panel is all lighted up. But we also have the trim indicator lighted up. Right. Can I release the lamp button? At this point, we shouldn't see a uh, cost fail. Uh, if we do see a cost fail, then the plane is going to open. Good to go. All right. Now, now that we tested out uh, the uh, the EIS and the uh, lamp system and everything, I'm going to do fuel pump tests. So left and right, going to go on and back to auto on both sides, and we're going to verify we have uh, fuel cause on the panel and that we can actually hear the fuel pump. So here comes the left. There it is. Here comes the right. There it is. We're going to try the ignition. We're trying to hear it. There it is, probably you guys can hear it. We're gonna test the EPS, so five seconds on the test position. Make sure that green light doesn't go out on the five seconds. And that's good. All right, we're good on that. Now, let's turn the uh, non-essential uh, to the override position and turn all the lights on. The reason why we have to turn the non-essential to override is because whenever the generators are not working, in order to save uh, battery life, the uh, right uh, landing uh, light will not come on. So, or is it the right recog? Maybe it's the right recog. Let me make sure all the lights are working. So we got the beacon on top working, we have the nav on the back working. Got the beacon on the bottom working. Got the strobe is working. Green nav is working. We've got recox. We have landing lights working. And we have taxi light working. Such a pretty aircraft with all the lights on. Right, let's go ahead and turn them all off again. Okay, so landing, taxi, wing, strobe, beacon, recog, non-essential is going back to auto. And uh, there's really nothing else we can do here right now. So I'm just gonna turn the battery off and let's go to the outside. There's my captain today, Mr. Stu Hirsch. Showing the folks how to do a pre-flight on the Pilatus. All right, so uh, how you doing, buddy? All good? All right, likes on the outside are good, so let's check out the uh, oil. This is pretty neat because it's not like a Skyhawk. As you can see, we have a window here. Uh, general room of thumb, if it's in the green, it's good. If it's in the red, we need to add some. Obviously, if it's in the red, then we need to uh, kind of like go through another procedure before adding some oil, but uh, it's pretty neat. No need to uh, bring the dipstick out. Everything looks pretty new here. Pretty good. Let's close this up. How you doing, buddy? Good. Let's check the fuel compartment. Make sure that the uh, that the bypass is in, and it is. If this thing would be uh, popped off, means that the uh, fuel has gone through the bypass of the filter. So uh, it means that we have an issue here. That's good. Let's close this up. Let's keep going on the right. Actually, the left of the aircraft. Main tire looks pretty nice and beefy. There's no leaks around here. I don't see any leaks on the floor. Everything looks good in there. Pretty clean. Uh, landing light looks good. This is nice and stiff, so that's good. Keep it going. There's really nothing much to see here. Just make sure the boot is uh, nice and smooth and that there's no cracks make sure the aoa vein swivels up and down everything looks good in here perfect so it still has the battery on now so static wicks they're good make sure this little ground connector here is plugged in this tends to break a lot so make sure this is uh this is good do not push on the flaps. This is not a small aircraft, do not push. 
Check the back of the tire. Good to me. This is very important. Do you see this pin just popping out? Make sure it's not flush. Make sure you can actually see the pins popping out. That's kind of like how much brakes you have left. If it's flush, then you're probably due for a brake change. Uh, everything looks good in here. Cargo door looks good. Let's check our nitrogen uh, reservoir. This looks good. This is what will keep the gear up in case of any failure. All right, just gonna close the cargo door. Push to close, just like Rolls Royce on the back seats. There we go. Just gonna push it in. All right, handle down. And verify we have five green marks. Static ports, two on each side of the aircraft on the tail. This is very interesting. Can somebody tell me what this green dot is and uh, how to verify that it's actually good? Let me know in the comments below. Tail section, I see static wicks. Static wicks, static wicks, everything looks fine. Uh, let's show you something real quick here. This is called the hell hole. All right, so we have fuel pressure about 1,500 pounds, that's good. Oh, this is dark here. Let me turn on my, uh, let me turn on my light. All right, better. So that's our tow bar in there. This is our battery. That's our ELT. This is our air conditioning unit. Some circuit breakers, make sure they're all in. And uh, these are the rods for uh, the aileron rudder and uh, not ailerons but the uh, elevator. So you can see it's a very complex system. There you go, let's we'll sit back. All right, let's get out of here. No wonder why they call it a hellhole. Uh, make sure this is not even popping. All right, let's keep going. That's your trim. That's your router trim right there. So, uh, it looks good. Tell, oh, let me show you something really cool. So, in order for you to know the trim, your elevator trim, how it is, you take a look at this thing and make sure that white line is in the green. That means you're good to go. How cool is that? The trim will actually move the whole surface, I believe. All right. Other side, air conditioning exhaust, the uh, second static port. This is just same as the uh, other side, make sure the tire looks good. Make sure you have the pin and it's not flush. Look up here, everything looks good. Uh, oh, yep, everything looks pretty good to me. Let's keep going. Ailerons, do not push on your ailerons. Static wakes on the winglet. Radar dome. This is a really cool device. Make sure it's uh, it's not cracked or anything. I've seen it cracked before, and it's uh, kind of like grounding. Here's our next AOA vane coming along the leading edge of the wing. Make sure there's no cracks on the boots. Front tire, um, right main tire. All looks good, the landing light looks good, cables look good. Uh -huh. Up here everything looks good. All right, let's check the other side of the engine. Uh, this get a little hard sometimes, but we got it. All right, ooh, look at that. That's a PT-667. Oh la la, we oui. Everything looks good in here. I mean, uh, by no means I'm not a mechanic, but uh, I think everything looks pretty good in here. Close this down. 
sure this latch is properly. You don't want this thing flying off when you take off. Live inside of the exhaust. All looks good in here. All right. Time to check our propeller, make sure there's no uh, nicks and crack on it, either on the front or on the back. Prop boot, make sure all those are heating elements. Make sure they're nice, not cracked. And uh, pretty much make sure everything is uh, just like that for the four propellers we have today. There's a third one. Everything looks good to me. And the fourth. All right, nice. Nose gear looks nice. Talks like everything in there looks pretty solid to me. Separator, inertial separator. It's uh, looks nice. Doesn't look like it's broken or anything, so it's good. Spinner looks good, and the. Uh, Inlet looks good. Would you believe me this is all it takes to pre-flight the plane? The plane is pre-flighted already. So uh, I guess we're good to go. Uh, we're gonna have a fun day today flying about uh, six legs in this amazing, amazing Pilatus. So uh, thank you for joining again. And if you like this uh, video, make sure you uh, click like and subscribe. That way I can bring you more stuff eventually. And uh, follow me on Instagram. I, I post a lot of stuff on Instagram on my stories uh, about what it is to be a Caribbean pilot. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have fun, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya. And uh, on a side note, now we have to wait for passengers. So that's kind of like uh, exciting always. Anyway, enjoy, guys. See ya. So this is why you run the checklist. So I forgot about the uh, the fire warning test and the checklist reminded me of it. That's why you gotta run the checklist. So fire, we should get Indian fire here and the uh, the uh, fire detection cost. There they are and it eliminates the master warning and caution on both sides. So yeah, that's the fire test. <laughs>